Now, you heard about the mid-Ramadan slump. Yeah. How do you overcome that? Oh, I get it too. Everybody gets it. We're human. <laughs> yeah. You get a slump. You, you know, you're at something and it, it, it beats you up. Now, that's when, when friends come in handy. And it's okay. You can accept a slump. Mm-hmm. It's okay. You can have a day or two that are down. We're human beings. We're not machines. Mm-hmm. Right? But the point is to pick yourself. Recognize that it's a slump. Mm-hmm. And you, nobody's going to beat you up. You have to learn to beat yourself up. Mm-hmm. You have to learn to be tough on yourself and get back up on the horse. Mm-hmm. Okay? Instead of constantly waiting on somebody else to come and motivate. I don't I feel unmotivated. <laughs> yes, you loser. You feel unmotivated. Why don't you call yourself a loser and become a winner again? Get up. You know, we have the capability to, to, to be tough on ourselves. Mm-hmm. We just don't do it, right? We've become, uh, unfortunately, I feel like uh, too many people are uh, obsessed with the idea of the pursuit of happiness, mm-hmm. right? Which just means, well, I mean, I may ask yourself that. What, is, what does it mean, the pursuit of happiness? If I just had a lunch and I feel like doing nothing, I'm happy. <laughs> That's not a high pursuit. It's not like a goal <laughs> in life. Uh, you know, I just, I just played some video games. I feel kind of happy, yeah. There should be higher pursuits in life, man. Mm-hmm. Have some grit. Have some toughness. Mm-hmm. You know? So people that don't aim higher than just happiness, mm-hmm. they don't accomplish things in life. Mm-hmm. Happiness is actually, to me, a byproduct of actual productivity in life. Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. So you're looking for a transformation. And the other thing I'll say here is about the slump that's really important. People compare themselves to others. Mm-hmm. But oh, that guy goes to the masjid every day. This person is, mashallah, look at this person. Look at what they're doing. They're doing work, they're doing school, and they're praying, and they're doing this, and they're doing that. Oh my God, I'm such a loser. And then your slump gets deeper. And the core problem isn't that they're a winner. The core problem is you're comparing yourself. No two human beings are the same. Mm-hmm. You have to compare yourself to me. I have to compare myself not to anybody else. I have to compare myself to myself from yesterday. Mm-hmm. That's it. Why was yesterday better than today? What did I do wrong? And you have to beat yourself at this game. That's what you have to do. Mm-hmm. There's a constant journey towards improvement of yourself. Self. So if you can tell yourself, I did more today than I did yesterday. I'm doing better than I did yesterday. That's, that's the winner. Not what you're comparing yourself to somebody else with. You see? And that's actually an attitude that Muslims should adopt in life. It's actually a Quranic concept. Mm. Allah says, uh, um, to, to, uh, tells us to pray that perhaps my master will guide me all the way to closer. Am I using all the way on purpose? The lamb is for ghaya. What, what does that mean? To Allah, you getting closer, not the closest, mm-hmm. not to the end. You making it closer to guidance is the eventual goal. Mm-hmm. If a human being dies pursuing betterment, not perfection, mm-hmm. just betterment, they have led a successful life.